Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Thirsty's Game Reviews live stream. Take two. Hopefully, it's going to work this time. Uh, really weird. I don't know. I had to restart my router. Uh, just my internet was like not working properly. So, hopefully, that did it. And if it happens again, I'll have to call up uh, Verizon and tell them they suck. But uh, Hopster Key was here before, so I'll mention his name again. <laughs> Sorry, Hopster Key, I guess you disappeared. Always Asleep is here now. Always Asleep says, that was weird. I tuned in right as the stream died. So sorry about that. It's a little late. It's later even than I had planned because of this stupid internet issue. So again, apologies. But hopefully it'll be good from here on in. We are playing once again the Sol 20. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy's here too. This is finally here for a Sol stream. We are playing the Sol 20 from 1976. Probably the first PC. And uh, we already played a bunch of games, but I got a bunch more. So without further ado, let's jump in. I guess I'll just say, if you're watching this after the fact, I like doing some old stuff, as you can see. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you've not already done so, if you want to catch more of this type of thing. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. So let's see, what's, what's left that we've not played yet? There's definitely a bunch. Borderline Ancient for sure. Oops, I got a caps lock on. Oh, that was interesting. All right, so Saw Basic Five uh, set M equals forty-eight thousand. I'm going to load in the program, which is a really weird one, which I don't understand at all. This is damn buster. Damn buster. Bust the dam with your bombs. Watch out for anti-aircraft fire. You have five aircraft. We'll keep making bomb runs till all are shot down or you bust the damn dam. Start a bomb run, press G. To drop a bomb, press the space bar. Now, I tried playing this before just to see if it would work. I, it's very, very, <laughs> very odd. Um, I will show you guys what happens. So we'll start power press G, right? Okay, so press G. Four planes left. So my first plane flew into the words and, and blue got blown up. This one here, I could theoretically shoot something by pressing the space bar. Oh wait, it flew into the words again. Let's see, I don't even know what I'm supposed to shoot. Like if I if I shoot the bomb, it hits the words. Oh that time I got blown up by the anti-aircraft. So I can start a bombing run again. I have two planes left. Oh, uh, whoops, I... I <laughs> hey, Stars, man, he has it going. There's something wrong here, and I'm dead. You just lost your fifth plane, Buster. We're trying to try again. So there's something weird here. Like, the game is not clearing away the text, and therefore you, your, your plane is flying into the text and it's dying. I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen that way. Some kind of bug or something, but... Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know, so we're just going to give up, and we'll try, so try something else here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm glad you can make it also, man. Let's start with, the, start with the beginning here. One more program like this. Make end of statement character. That was, never, that was never happening before. I don't think. Oh, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway. So one more programming like this. This is even weirder. You are now a pilot, a World War II bomber. What side? One Italy, two Allies, three Japan, four Germany. I'll, I'll let you guys pick. Do you want to be Italy, Allies, Japan, or Germany? Anybody on YouTube or Twitch could can, can, can give a selection. I see there's two viewers on Twitch. It's almost a high for me. Stars Magazine says Germany. <laughs> a Nazi, eh? Oh, well. Are you going for Russia, England, or France? Too late, Pirate Gear Boy. We're going to bomb Russia, England, or France. This is a very short game. This, this is the only other one I tried, by the way. What do you guys say? Russia, England, or France? 
Russia. You're nearing Stalingrad. How many missions have you flown? How many missions have you flown? I think it uses this as some kind of random number generator. Give me a number, guys. Five. Fresh out of training, eh? You missed target by three miles. Now you're really in for it. The enemy has missiles. The percent hit rate of the enemy guards is 13%. You made it through tremendous flak. That's the whole game, apparently. I don't know. I'll try to play it again. I'll say allies. And I'll fly a B-17 bomber. You're chasing the Bismarck in the North Sea. How many missions have you flown? 23. Direct hit, 1,126 killed. Mission successful. <laughs> I don't know, it's not a very good game, is it? Play again, no chicken. All right, so that's that's all the games that, that, that we have that are in basic five. But there's also this extended basic. Yeah, really fast, I agree. Extended basic. Copyright 1977. So let's see if we get this to work. First, I'm going to run scripts. I'm going to type in basically. Where did it go? Uh, hang on one sec. I'm trying to find the, the files here. No, no, where the hell is it? Come on. What the heck? Oh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I see what the problem is. All right, ECB is what I need. So these are these things that basically is typing it in for you, like as you watch, typing in the basic code. So it's some kind of shooting program, but we don't know exactly what it does. Actually, this I did. Tr I tried this one too. This is the last one that I tried. It's also pretty stupid, actually, but. Air raid. Enter one to six to fire a missile at the aircraft, which looks like a right angle bracket. You have six shots to hit six of the right angle bracket aircraft. Who wrote the basic interpreter? I don't know. It's a good question. Very good question. Basically, I have six missile launchers. Each one has one missile, and i got to use them. Come on. This thing there's a bug or something because by by the time it, it took that command it was already too late. You got see, see like I'm pressing the button it's not actually going sometimes and then I'm it's there's some there's something wrong with the polling routine. By the time I actually get the missile off it's too late. So I got three ships destroyed. Let's try one more time. See what I hit that button before it went? That wasn't fair. Of course, we're right between them. So four ships destroyed. I, I would actually try that again if it actually worked properly, but like you see, I'm like his pressing the button and it's not firing because the pulling routine is weird. Seven of 12 ships destroyed. She percentage 58. Whatever. Heck with you, buddy. Oh, it's not called new in this one. BS error. It is a it is a BS error. I agree. It is a BS error. Right, let's try something different. This is a maze of some kind. I tried to get as many programs as I could without duplicating, but I, it's possible I might get something which we already did in a previous stream or some duplication here, because a lot of the games are similar. There's so many variations of Star Trek, and there's so many variations of. Uh, Hammurabi, like as like being the two most popular games, I think, in that, in that time period, for whatever reason. So let's see how this works. I wanted to put out some TRS-80 games on eBay today, but like, with like an hour or two left on each auction, they were already at $450 each. 
don't know who the hell's buying these games. But not me. I'm not paying that much money. $450 for a TRC text adventure. You can play Hammurabi on Sega Genesis, really? Well, that was. You see how I could flash something on the screen really fast? This promo put out a different maze every time. It, I can imagine the test of Star Space. I can imagine the boss is a Tandy playing these 979 side which ones to steal. This roller print out a different maze every time it's running, guaranteed only one path through. You can choose the dimension of the maze, i.e., number of squares wide, number of squares long. A 20 by 20 maze is the maximum, but any dimension of these limits is okay. Let's do 20 by 20. I mean, like, is that, how do you type it like that? Uh. Okay. See, you know, even like I, like whom, like okay, I, I should say I'm not a professional programmer. I have a professional programmer. I at least I, I, I was. Like you don't like freaking put instructions without explaining how to type in information. What are your width and length? Is not a way to ask a question. You say what is your width, and you say what is your length, or you say enter into this format. So I don't know if I did it right. MTC engineer begins. Wait, am I still? I'm on. Fuck, are you kidding me? Is it working now or is it still broken? Guys, can you hear me? It looks like it's working to me. Okay, it seems okay at the second. The, twi the, the Twitch stream died, though. I think Verizon is, like, screwed up tonight. I can't even, like... Alright. Twitch is, good, is back up. Sheesh. Um... Do a live Verizon rant. <laughs> Verizon usually works okay, but today it's... I, I'm um, something really weird is going on here. All right, it's working now, I think, again, but I, sw I tried doing something to my network connection to see if that helps. Yeah, it looks like it's back as well to me. But, like, seriously, what the hell? What in the hell? All right. I'm back. We'll pro yeah, ho hopefully it doesn't. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Meantime, let's try to run this thing. Anti-aircraft game. You're in command of a U.S. Army M42 anti-aircraft tank. Your mission, you decide to accept. I don't want to skip instructions. Did I play this one already? It will be to shoot down the enemy aircraft sighted approaching you now. Every time you shoot is one turn. The mission of the enemy plane is to bomb you. Should it succeed, you and this complex will blow up. Type in an R when ready. What's with these old computers that cause so many dumb stream problems? I don't know. Very strange. All right, exit the game by trying to fire negative one shells. Your M42 tank and twin 40 millimeter guns with a maximum range and altitude of 70, 17,000 feet. The maximum firing range is 500, 6,500 rounds of ammunition. I think I played this. Your anti, your radar linked SOL computer reports a is in game number one. Your radar linked SOL computer. Of course, enemy plane approaching. I, I did play something like this. It's a little slightly different. The attitude is 7,200 feet. 16,340 is range in feet. His airspeed is 220. He's coming closer. Uh, 
I'll wait till it gets a little closer. Oh, now it's identified as a German JU-87B Stuka dive bomber. All right, what should I do here? Fire some shells? Oh, <laughs> bird just shit on my guns and your... What? A bird just shit on your guns and your star, star, star one turn while you clean it off? Um, that's, that's really, like, unrealistic, honestly. I don't have shells to fire at the enemy plane. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, how about, uh, how many do I have? Five. Zero hits out of five. You have 6495 shells to shoot with. How about 500? Oh, I think that broke it. What happened? Oh, come on. Oh, 11 hits out of 500. I'll shoot another 500. It's like trying to compute all these shells, I guess. 14 hits out of 500. I mean, I don't know. 200. Five hits. I don't know. What's wrong with this? My, my gun it really sucks, apparently. Uh, 200 again. He's really close, this guy. Nine hits. Should I be shooting like 5,000 shells or something? He's like right on top of me. <laughs> 32 hits. Game over. Type in C for the results. You're both impotent. It's a draw. You have 71 hits on the enemy plane. Zero bombs landed you out of one. Hey, Gamers Grot, how's it going? Um, this game is stupid because... If really spell you're wrong, that's what makes the game stupid. But aside from that, like... I hit 71, 71 times. Like, that's not enough? Like, how many times do I have to hit him? What kind of shitty anti-aircraft gun do I have? Alright, no... You'll all come back now. Ready. No, how about not? Let's try something else. Uh, is this the same? I think this is the same thing. Uh, I'll just double check that. Shoot games? No, it's different. The hit ratio of those World War II anti aircraft guns is really low, says Star Manny. It could be. Gamers Grotto says, I'd like to stream something with you very soon, Stu. Sure, Gamers Grotto, we can do that. This is interesting. You can see so much just by reading it, like watching it being typed in. Do, do, do. Come on. You ready to play? Well, why the hell did you call this game? You dummy, you blew yourself up. You are dead. <laughs> I mean, these games were not written by, uh, <laughs> I mean, they were probably math geniuses, but they weren't, like, English geniuses. I've never been to Tab Tandy Assembly Stars, Manny. I I I've considered going, but I've never gone yet. Shoot games. Barrage, White Sand, or Tank. Which one should we play, guys? Because I'm not sure if I'll be able to get back to the menu after the game is over. So which one do you think? One, two, or three? Two, says Pirate Gear Boy. Each game has directions for play. This is a target practice game. Instructions? The elevation looks like this. U, elevation, target. An elevation of 0 to 45 will increase the distance, but beyond 45, this will get shorter to 90, but it will go straight up and back on you. Sounds like, they're, like, sounds like uh, worms, whatever it's called. Uh... Okay, direction can be 0 for 180, 0 right, 
X is minus from 9 to 1 to 8. What? X is minus? What does that mean even? I don't know. You're going to fire the target the X and Y coordinates listed. You will get the distance from the target the coordinates of each of three shots listed after every one is done. This should... List your names in order. How many players? O, B, error, and line, two, five, six, five. That's good. Is it, I think that's it. That was fun. Thank, thank you so much for that wonderful time. Let's try a different, let's try barrage. <laughs> This time-sharing demonstration simulates the results of firing an artillery piece. You're the officer in charge giving orders to the gun crew, telling them the degrees of elevation you estimate you'll place the round on the target. And within 100 yards of the target, will destroy it. The maximum range of your piece is 46,500 yards. This is the target is 36,780 yards. Okay. Uh, how about I do uh, 30 degrees... Oh, I didn't even get to, to shoot how much. Fell short by whatever. Okay, so 35 degrees. That's worse. 25 degrees. Overshot. Uh, okay, if somebody do this math in my head. No, I think another game. Not another game. Hope that their artillery range. Please come again. You want to try another game? I said yes. Yes, moron. Let's try tank. Tank game. You're on a hill with 100 sacks of powder. Why am I just using this? No sound. And 50 shells. Type a number of sacks and degree of angle when asked. There are five tanks in the field trying to overtake the hill. If you are killed, they will succeed. The option to get the tanks without being killed and with the 50 shells and 100 sacks available. If you run out, the hill is captured! You're ready to play. I guess. Why the hell did you call this game? I said yes. I haven't stopped to quit any time. And then there's Dungeon Master error in line 4240. Like, like Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeon Master error. Alright, well. <laughs> there's definitely another BS error here. I don't know what's wrong with these games. Why? What does DM error mean? DM error. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can look that up. DM error. There's no nothing. There's no information on this. Uh. Uh. DM error. May I may I to like uh, keep the the matrix functions or something. Let me try. Let me try. I'm gonna try this again. Let's. I want to. I want to see this just for, just for the sake of this dimension. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it needs the matrix functions. That actually makes sense. Right, hang on a second. Let's try resetting. Let's load again the uh, extended memory. Extended basic. Let's. We put my OBS window in front so I can see if it craps out again. X zero. Let's say delete my translations. Did I say I said no last time? Did I? Not? Yeah, I did say no. So it all right. It's, it's, I forgot I said no. It's, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. So all right, I'll forget it. We'll try something else. So far we're running. We're doing really good here in, in terms of uh, in terms of luck. I don't know why, but there's also three games. Maybe this one will actually work. The person's phone number is there. Uh, let's see what it's curious to say anything here. No. I don't know why, but we'll see if this one works. I mean, it is possible for games to work, so. Do not know. I'd spent a decent amount of time figuring out how to use this damn machine, but I'm not an expert on it, unfortunately. A lot of math there. The ship can't violate the space-time continuum. 
This looks like part of this is Looter Lander. <laughs> Dead to code. <laughs> yeah. So gamers Grotto, you want to join? You could do this stream with me. We could stream some solid twenty games. Hey, Opter Key, the games tonight so far are not that good, uh, but this is a very old computer. So, let's have it understood. You must play this game on my terms. Look, meathead. I just got this game is interesting. A personality. Some of, some, some of them are not working for some reason. Hopster key. Don't know why, but um, hopefully you get better luck with this one. Your wife misses out of that fat life insurance policy. What the hell kind of weird program is this? A lot of code. Sheesh. See, it'll take 20 minutes for the results. Does Saw 20 have a Pac-Man game like the Wang? Maybe it might. I don't know. But we're playing this game right now, so we'll see. Is that what you're interested in, a Pac-Man game? This is freaking long. Finally. Alright, astronaut games. Let's try Apollo. I am Apollo! Lunar landing simulation. Oh, this is okay. This is probably the shittiest one. Have you flown an Apollo lab mission before? No. Which style of measurement do you prefer? English. You're on a lunar landing mission. As the part of the lunar excursion module, you've expected to give certain. I'm missing the word two. You'd be expected to give certain commands to the model navigation system. The onboard computer will give a running account of information you need to navigate the ship. I don't know. This guy could, like, he knows that pi is equal to 3, 4, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, whatever, but he can't, like, freaking spell words. Right? <laughs> whatever. The attitude angle cord called for is described as follows plus or minus 180 degrees directly away from the moon, minus 90 degrees on a tangent in the direction of orbit. 90 degrees on the tangent from zero to, from, what? Zero degrees directly towards the moon. I don't know what the hell this means. What? It just, like, zooms something there. What? <laughs> All angles, you negative, what? Enter TPA. Debort division A time equals zero, zero, zero. Okay, that's 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 not what to do. Mission aborted. Just to fly it again? No. Too bad. Space program to experience. Should I try a different game? Yes. All right, fine. I'll try astronaut. A malfunction has prolonged your mission on the spaceship Titan Thirteen. You need to get back down fast. Your object is to end up with both apogee and perigee between four thousand and forty-one hundred miles from the center of the Earth. So you're just above the atmosphere in a nearly circular orbit from which you can make final re-entry. Okay. You will control the spaceship by telling me when and how long to fire the engines. If you give me a positive number for burn time, I'll assume retro fire. If you want forward thrust, give a negative number. Your fuel is limited, so you must use it wisely. We must not be too cautious either, because your oxygen supply is also limited. These reports are all impossible, and you cannot take forever to sign your maneuvers. I didn't press a fucking button. With the help of Kepler and Newton, I'll compute where the spaceship goes, have an orbit at a time. For each step, your new status will be given as thus. This is the same game. Almost. This is the same game. I'm just going to die. Cap Captain's log, star date, confusion. Next burn, wait. Uh, next burn now. How many seconds? Five. I don't know. It's not even asking me for anything. Let's just wait. You were dead. You're actually around this half orbit. Does anyone else want to try? No. Do I try a different game? Fine. Rod debut. Oh, it's even better. Oh my god. This is a simulation of a whole, whole bond transfer between an inner orbit of 200 miles and an outer orbit of 21,800 whatever miles. This is the t <laughs> this is the type of situation that will be encountered in the use of the space shuttle. Shuttle be in orbit. Shuttle be in orbit. Hey man, the shuttle be. In Wait, what does it keep doing that? I'm not typing. Do you see typing A? The shuttle be in orbit 200 miles out. 
of most satellites will be in a synchronous orbit 21,800 miles out. To reach these satellites, a booster, spelled wrong, a booster called the Space Tug will be used to bring a malfunctioning satellite, spelled wrong also, down to the shuttle. And take satellites, now spelled also wrong in a different way, up to the synchronous orbit. How come they can't spell words? I don't understand. They know all this freaking math. They cannot spell a single word. Enter delta 5 in feet per second. I don't know. <laughs> Take 20 minutes for the results. Are you kidding me? We didn't even freaking do anything. <laughs> I'm not waiting 20 minutes for the results. Are you ready to speed up the process here? Uh, let's see if I can show actual speed. Can you see the speed now on this one? Yeah, simulated speed 2.04 megahertz. Let me see if I can speed it up. Oh! What happened? What did it say? It was too fast. They even know what it said? Uh, I can't even read that. What happened? It made a picture of like a sword or something. What, what, what was that? You think that's bad spelling? Sorry, Mason. Back in those days, it was absolutely assumed you were good with computers. You have poor English skills. I remember that. Gamers Gross. Oh, you think that's bad spell? That's bad spelling? Bad. <laughs> you should have seen the last game I streamed. Yeah, Stars Maze. Some of these probably were supposed to be played in a teletype. I'm sure you're right about that. The nice thing about the Wang emulator was it had a printer simulator, too. This one doesn't seem to have that. Uh, at least I have not seen one. All right. Well, that game was sucked, so let's try something else. What do we got here? Uh, a word from Mech. From Mech. That's cool. 1978. It's like Hangman or something. The printer said a lot new to recover reality. <laughs> the dude wasn't that bad compared to the other one. That Playgirl. Remember that? A word. Information? Yes. A word is a bunch of mystery words all beginning with A. Did they just tell me that? A computer will give you clues to help you guess the word. Clue one, last letter of mystery word. Clue two, a la dash for each letter between first and last letters. Clue three, a word or phrase that means the same as the word. If you can't get the mystery word, type help and the computer your kind soul will give you the answer. Type done to stop A word. Stars will keep track of your rights and wrongs. Stars? Okay. Tiny particle. Your guess? Adam. Is that right? What is that? It shows two stars. That mean I'm right? European country. Uh, Al Algeria. Uh, second letter is U. It's, Algeria is in Africa, right? Second letter is U. Austria. Uh, what's this? Cash. Uh, it's probably this three. This five. Yeah, this three. This five-letter word. What's a what's a five-letter word that means cash? Anybody? Uh, I don't know. No! Second letter is S. S. What? Anybody? Anybody? 
Thriller's ass. Thriller's ass. Asset. So I got I got no stars on that one because I didn't get it. It took me too long to get it. Walk. Uh. Uh, I don't know. That's so vague. Amble, that's smart. Nice stars, Manny. This is answer. Mathematics, algebra, fight. Uh, attack. Island Atoll. Value to enjoy something. Appreciate. Thanks for playing a word. All right, that was that was like very simple, but it was different. It wasn't freaking shooting something. <laughs> for once, we weren't shooting something. Thank you for giving me something different. I appreciate it. Best game so far. I agree. Let's see what else we got. There's no crying in baseball. That's something, some kind of baseball game. Ooh, it's graphical. That's good. It's probably one of those games that doesn't let you actually control anybody and just like uh, you just get to like decide what you want to do, or maybe you don't even get to decide what you want to do. We'll see in a second. All these different uh, subroutines to display the graphics, though. How's everyone doing this evening? It's sort of late, I know. Sorry about that. Baseball. Because they have Team 1, Yankees, and Team 2, Mets. Yankees team is up. Plus, any letter to play the next man. So it's like, does it matter what letter you press or? Whoa. Okay. Out at second. Out. Our right, Mets are up. What happened? Oh, okay, nothing. Walk. Just four balls out he strikes. Nice. Out at left field. Do I have like bases loaded or something? It looks like I've been on base. But it doesn't make any sense. Out. I don't, I don't understand. Why does it look like these people on base? Base hit. It looks the same as it did before. I think it's a bug. Out center field. Team Mets team retires the. Oh, I got a. I got a. How did I get a pull? How did I get? What? What happened? Let's try this one more time. All right now, nobody's on base. Walk. All right now, this man out first. That makes sense. Walk. Okay, first and second. Out left field. The brothers did not advance. For some reason. Okay, base is loaded. Base hit. So I guess there's a single. It should say score one now. Yeah, prior game where these grabbers were kind of state of the art at the time. I agree. So that should be one, one all, yeah. Triple. Alright, I guess. <laughs> Diagonal lines more than what Paul could do. Out center field. Double. Oh, the Yankees are killing. Out left field. The Yankees team retires with a total of five. Alright, we're not going to keep playing this. It's sort of cool, though. I mean, it's... It's impressive. Oh, I press escape and it's still playing. Let me reset this. I don't know, I don't know what the key is to, to escape out of the game. Unfortunately. Oh, well, that, that'll do it. I don't know how, but it, I guess it should do it. Better than 35 millimeter? I mean, not really, because it's not really a game, but I mean, it's like so basic. You can't really compare them, honestly. 
Blackjack, original program published in People's Computer in 1978. I have that magazine, I think. I have most of the People's Computer run. So this is actually sort of cool. I don't know. At one point during the game, he takes out a camera and he takes some pictures, but like, I assume it's because of that, but it's bullshit because it's not even like really a mechanic. You could take out the camera, I think, at other times if you want, but you don't need to. So I, I don't know. It's really dumb, actually. It's a wonderful game. On the back, it shows like a bunch of photos. Capture the remnants of humanity. Unveil the world through your lens, it says. Embark on a post-apocalyptic journey with two travelers through a desolate wasteland, once inhabited by people before a devastating pandemic struck. Navigate deserted towns, cities, expansive fields, forests, and even a hidden underground facility across Russia. Shoot dogs and also stone statues during your dreams as you try to avoid being killed. Wander around aimlessly looking for random pieces of paper that explain nothing about what the hell is going on. And unravel the mystery. Something like that. You saw a bug? Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't say anything about the dog shooting, really. Vegas Blackjack. Dealer stands at 817. Splitting pairs and... Ooh, this is a fancy simulation. Splitting pairs and doubling down per minute. How much cash do I have? I got, I got this much. How many decks in the shoe? I don't know. Ten. I, I pressed, pressed ten. Oh, well, you're right there, Stars Manny. But, oh, that's something. It didn't actually. Looks as, it must. It, I thought clear actually like clears the memory, but apparently it doesn't because it mixed something here with the baseball game, it looks like. That's really weird. Hold on a second. Uh, that's bullshit. Hold on. I want to see if I can avoid that happening again. All right, we'll start loading this again. And while I'm doing that, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I read the instructions of how to avoid that from happening in the future. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Um, that looked like a good blackjack game, too. Alright, come on. I initialize and leave basic. Clear. Control X, list mode, delete, ah, uh, scratch, SCR, scratch, that clears everything, apparently, what does clear do then, clear erases the definition of all variables and leaves the program intact, so that's the problem I was having before. To restore or something oh, weird. Back in 1976, you were lower than Chad Warren to award the Sol 20. Yeah, it was. So you still saw it again, Stars Manny, this time? I wasn't. Again, I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to figure out how to avoid that happening again. Where, for future reference, Scratch is what deletes the program. Or SCR for short. Let's say nine decks this time. Hey, bet. Thousand dollars. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Look at this. Look at this. We're obviously gonna hit. 
And hit again. What? I didn't bust! Fuck you! That's not a bust! You stupid piece of sh- What the hell? Boo! Boo! How is that a bust? How is that a bust? That's a 20. I mean 26. There's no music. Shut up. <laughs> what the hell? Kind of, what happened there? And, we're, and there's no cards above like 5? But, but aside from that, wait, what the hell just happened? It's hand number 11. How is it hand 11? It should be hand 1. Does anybody know what just happened? Let's try again. I gotta have Ace and Two. There's something wrong here, obviously. Look at this. <laughs> My cards are not displaying properly. The dealer got Queen King Queen. <laughs> And it says total 26, and he's a winner. And I have ace 2 3, and it says two, 24 busted. How can a dealer 26 and be a winner? Alright. It's, rig it's rigged very badly in the dealer's favor. Alright, let's try this again. I maybe that number I put it was too high. Let's try $5,000. I'm next to the shoe, four, hundred. All right, that looks better, right? Okay. At least I got some other things other than Ace Two. Let's stand on twenty one. <sighs> this is disappointing. It looks like a good game. I mean, it's just blackjack, but still, like that's that's not fair. Boo. 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 Come on. Get out of here. That really sucked. What the hell? You're right. Somebody typed it in wrong or something. They didn't even test it. Some guy made a program, 1978. It looks like Boggle. Maybe this will work. Someone spent a lot of time on that. I'll cue you is together. Do I get to write down the answer? I mean, I have to put right in my head. I mean, like, how does this work? No, I can't. I can't do anything. I think it's only it's only for for design for offline play. Unfortunately, that's stupid. And that way has Q U together. Is that always a boggle? Well, I can't type anything, so I. That's what this I'm saying. There's no. I guess we're supposed to write it down, I think, and then check your answers afterwards, which is stupid. I mean, they could have done a little bit better job at this. Uh, the chat. Well, if it was a real game and if we actually could play it, that would be nice. Not just a picture of a cube. What else we got here? I don't know what this is. Buzz Bomb Air. Another shooting game, of course. All the good games don't work. We got like, <laughs> but the baseball game at least worked. Not that it was good, but it worked. Not buzz. What's Buzz Bombers? I don't know that game. Is it for the Sol or the Wang, or for the uh, Odyssey? We're stuck in the seventies here in this chat. This chat right now today. Oh, in television. That's that's way too. Well, that is the 70s, actually, so I should know that. 
Maybe, it was, maybe that game is based on this game. Hello, let's go. Should I increase the speed while it does this? I probably should, right? <laughs> Buzz bomb. Symbols equals. Let me read. What happened? You're the British Wing Commander controlling two squads of Spitfires vaguely against the Luftwaffe over Brighton. Brighton? You're commanding three Spitfires marked 1, 2, 3, and five Spitfires marked 1, 2, 3, etc. You can assign the task of shooting down all buzz bombs to win and further destroy all the target types thereafter. What? Oh, it's a great... This is, like, way too complicated for me, honestly. Do you guys want me to try this, keep playing this? Because I have really no interest in it at all. It's like... This is the type of game where if I was going to try to play it, I'd want to have, like, a big, fat manual in front of me and read the manual, like, very thoroughly before I started playing. Like, right now, it's like... like what else to do here, really? Yeah, this game is too much. I, I don't even... I don't understand, like, anything about anything right now. All right. Do you leave these planes flying? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> How do I quit the game? You want the defense for game to work? Here you go. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but this is just too much for me. All right, I, I quit. I mean, it's, I, I can't really complain about that one. It seems like very, very fancy, but it's not my type of game. Let's see what else we got. I don't need to do that. Uh, run script. That one was, uh, what was that one? Buzz Bomber, right? No, that, was, that wasn't Buzz, that was, was that Buzz Bomber? That was Buzz Bomber. This I think we've played before, the Civil War game. I should have that before. I, mean, I think we played. Yeah, we played this, and I, I it was stupid, and I lost. You know, I won every single battle. I lost the war somehow. So we're not, I'm not doing this again. Let's just quit. All right, good. Let me just kill it. That's a good thing. So forget that one. I thought that'd probably be the same, but let's see what else there is. Okay. Combat, Star Trek. I drew a random number. Galaxy limits are plus minus 800,000 milligrams. Federation limits are plus minus 40,000 milligrams. You eat starships at five bases. The Klingon invasion has broken the treaty. Run program brief for a description of how this quite different version of Star Trek is played. Some other program I don't have. Warp 1 covers of a thousand milligrams. A minus number gives all command summaries. Move short range scan, long range scan, phasers, photons. So it's another, pro another Star Trek game. Auxiliary weapons. Uncloaking device. 
computer. Antimatter bomb, tractor, tractor beam. Oh, that sounds cool. What was the other one? Computer. I don't know what the computer does. Game status, course calculator, courses to enemy. Oh, it's courses to enemy. I think it's thinking. Hello, computer. Oh, nothing. There's no, there's no enemies here. Power and shield control. Okay. It looked pretty good. I'll just see what this looks like. Long range, short range scan. Nothing here. Uh, what, do I, what do I continue? Did I press the same thing by accident? It is a little bit different, but it's not. It doesn't even, I don't see how it's very different yet. Two is long range scan. That's what I did. I have no information on anything. There's nothing here. Best. You see, are you being sarcastic when you see the best version of Star Trek I've played yet? There's, I don't see anything here at all. This is a long range scan? I don't understand that. Move. Hey Lester, how's it going? Is this PC rare? Uh, yeah, I mean they are pretty hard to find. Uh, max engine, warp engine power eight thousand, max speed I don't know, course ninety, warp one. Oh, and now I'm the hood. Oh, where it's the beginning, I have eight chips. Oh, I see. So the hood's in a different place. This is interesting. Hop key. I saw one of these on eBay like recently for like $2,000, and it was not tested even. So it is pretty rare. This is weird. Passing turn. Now, now I'm the interp interpret. That's supposed to be the intrepid, but it's the interpret. Lexington. Moscovia. Never heard of that one. Proteus. The Republic. Yorktown. Transport number one. Transport number two. And the aliens are now moving. Yeah, I agree. Test the damn thing if we're asking 2000. Hey, Andy. <laughs> Good old interpret. <laughs> a computer is a person who computes things? Well, you think that's what it means in this case? I don't know. 2K, no mission makers port in sight. This game does not look like fun to me either. It's, it's really interesting. It's like in the beginning when they first had these options from games. It's like nobody thought of anything except for, like, war. It's either you're shooting something or in some kind of military exercise. Like, those are, like, basically almost the only two options that anybody thought of. And there's a couple other random things, like some sports simulation or a black, you know, a gambling simulation, maybe a word game. But mostly shooting and war. I mean, like, I guess nowadays it's similar because people play, like, Call of Duty or whatever, but this... So many other types of games out there. I'm just curious how long the aliens are going to be moving for. United States is pretty close to World War II. I mean, not that close to World War II. Like 30 years away. It was much closer to Vietnam. And that, even that was not that close. Yeah, Hopster keys is Vietnam, maybe. I'm gonna speed this up again. Oh wait, it's, oh. an enterprise turn. This is this is this is this is stupid. I mean, like, 
it's probably a really complex game, but again, like, this, again, this is the type of game I want to have a printout of instructions, which is not happening in this universe. So let's try to start this again. Written script. Uh, what was that? That was uh, combat. They called it concentration. Concentration. Are you ready? If so, let's go. Let's borrow word one. Do what the rules list said. Yes. Yeah, I agree with you, Andy. Andy says a lot of these old games were way more ambitious than they had a right to be, and it worked against them. Behind the numbers of the board, there are numbers ranging from 1 to 1,000. You try to make two numbers in the same number behind them. Because instead of pictures, they couldn't do pictures, just numbers. If you get a pair that match, cross those two numbers of the board so you know they're off the of the board. Also, if they match, that you win that amount of money. If they do not match, lose $200. Okay. Do not choose 25 until you want to end the game, so it'll automatically do so. What's your first number? Two. Fifty. What's your second number? One. One. You lose two hundred dollars. Three. Four. Five. Two. Six. Seven. I can't keep track of this. All right, this game sucks, but <laughs> when the Saw came, probably came out probably 50, 35 years ago. This game is stupid. This game was created in the masterminds of Mike and Bill Volgraft and, Volgra Volbrecht and Larry Kirschenstein of Morgan, Minnesota. Hey! Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate all the hard work, but it was not a very good game. See what else we got. This game is crazy. What oh, crazy eats? Let's see if it works. Get the pull of the show. Answer two numbers when asked which card you wish to play. The first number is the value of the card. The second is the suit. Okay. Clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. See this? They tell you form for response is X comma X. That's nice. Have me letter for more. If you're able to play or willing to, you will get another card from the draw stack. Full cards would draw the person's play must do so. I never really played this game. I guess it's like Uno. Then they get a person holding cards point screen against as follows. Ace equals 50. Wow. Ace 1. Face card 10. X value of each other card. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep it all on screen. I agree with that. No endless scrolling. Machines are all like... You know, rolling like the real to reels. It's <laughs> I mean, there's no real to reels in this, but I assume it's like loading. Where did they get this convention of type in any letter for more? A lot of games have the same thing. I don't know. You just like press space to continue, hit enter to continue. That's happening to any letter. Or why is it, why is it letter? Because a number would not work. It's always to be a letter. Alright. My hand is four of clubs to ten of clubs, I guess. Last was king of clubs. So I'll play, yes. I'll play four. I have to press one instead of clubs, apparently. Four of spades. So I'll play the four of hearts. Oops. Four of hearts. Ace of hearts. So I'll play the seven of hearts.
Eight of spades. So you call for his clubs. Nice that he has an eight. So I'll play the ten of clubs. T is not ten. T, T of D. So let's play the two of D. I don't know why they couldn't make the input a little better. Two of spades. He keeps on changing on me. It says seven of spades. Oh, man. Finally, I can't play. Six of hearts. I'm going to keep drawing until I can play. Oh, my God. Oh, man. This douchebag had two eights. Yes, I think I'm going to win now. Yes, I win. I win. He didn't show me with drawing cards. Like, he was supposed to be drawing cards like a banshee, that guy. But never actually showed anything. I win. I always win. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Right, my score is 50. Your score is 50. My score is 0. Play again, no. Looks like you're a high scorer. <laughs> Bye. Well, and that was the best game so far. That simple game was the best game so far. You know why? There was minimal typos. They gave decent instructions how to play. It actually worked all the way through to the end. And it was not a shooting game. So that's the best. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Fire Gear Boy. That was the best one so far. I think, like, by far. Alright, let's see what else. Uh, crazy eights. What's this? Drag 500. How far do you want to race? Do, we, do I mean want? How far do I want to raise? I don't know how far. 10,000. Do you want to raise me? That's my other choice. I guess. Okay, I'll have car one. Design of car two. Horsepower. Rear ratio. Tire width. Tire dia. I don't know. All right, that was a great game. Wonderful. Wonderful. What, wunderbar. That was terrible. All right, what else we got? Uh, frog. Eleven seven, 1978. Worst game of all time. Frog race. How many players? Let's make it uh, three. <laughs> Frog number and odds. All right, I'll take. I'll I'll play. I'll bet on Frog number six. I bet thousand. Who else wants to play? This is Willie Peebish. Yeah, sort of. Uh, the, one of the frogs named Horny. Who else wants to play? Give me a frog if you want to play. Well, we got two more players. 
give me the frog number that you wanted to bet on so we can start the game. Let's go. Let's hurry up. Yeah, I suppose me. So give me a number. Four. Okay. PGB frog four. And stars man. Thousand also. And stars manny. Also. Now he says frog eight. He changes mind. What? What's going on? Are they hopping to the left corner? What, what frog? What the hell happened? They all just like jumped like this in unison? That was so stupid. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Best, you're a stupid game. That was horrible. Oh my god. Alright, what else we got? Uh, football of some kind. I think we may have tried this one before. I think, I think this may be the same one. Let's see. One of the profile. We did, I think we did do this. You call a play for the Vikings and they report of the St. Louis Cardinals. That's really dating. What is that? What is that team called now? Is it? Is it the St. Is that? Isn't that like the the Vegas? No. What? What is the St. Louis Cardinals now? It was the Arizona Cardinals. Are they back to the St. Louis Cardinals? They're not. That's a baseball team, right? I'm confused. What? What did the St. Louis Cardinals become in football? Anybody know? All right. Well, while, while if anybody's thinking about that. Was a letter C more? Well, this is different. Do we? No, no, we did this. It was we did it. It was terrible. I, I, I kept on losing. I call your play four. Yeah, pass lead for twenty two yards. Pass lead for twenty five yards. Touchdown. Yeah, this game was stupid. What the f was that? I don't know. Let's restart it. Mm -hmm. The frog game was terrible, I agree. I don't know what the hell it was. Oops. One script. What's this? Another very big program. Another Star Trek game, it looks like. I wonder what that weird characters mean. Like, there must be a reason they use those characters. Man, the printer looked different. The Starship Enterprise and Starship Lexington in one base and twice of stars to create the galaxy to evade Klingons, Romulans, Orionites, etc. Seems like the same type of game as the other one. No, I'm not going to play it, Stars May. It looks just like the other one. Right? I got Enterprise as a command and the other guy gets a command. Well, this is actually working, though, because last time I did a long-range scan, it was going to be a short-range scan. So it's actually working, although it's super slow. So it's better than the other one from that perspective, because it actually looks like it works. Look how slow it is, my god. This should yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of playing Star Trek games. I'm not going to play this again. I want to abort. We'll try the next one. Saw 20 gaming experience is play, praying that a game works correctly, says Pirate Gear Boy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, some of it's probably like just these, these programs have not really survived the transcription process, I'm assuming. It couldn't have been that bad back in the day. At least I don't think so. Uh, what's this? 
Golf. Golf 2. Before each hole, a question mark will appear. If you'd like to continue playing, type a 1. And if you'd like to quit or receive... That is a stop in the middle of the sentence. Here, place solid 20, 72-pin connector. These are a list of club swing information, scoring information. Yes. Oh, jeez. It must assume you're using a printer. Putt potency. Okay. I guess. Univac Oaks. That's funny. That's like a computer joke. Let's call it Univac Oaks. Probably all computer jokes. What's my handicap? 56. <laughs> uh, 30 then. Anyone for tennis? <laughs> Difficulties at golf include hook, slice, poor distance, trap shot, putting. Which one of my worst? Definitely putting. <laughs> this is when I play other golf games. Your key of hole one. This is 361 yards, par four. See, I don't know, like, what's. I couldn't see the clubs. Too much club, you're a past hole. I don't know. I don't know what my choices are. You made too many mistakes and I don't like it. Watch your fingers. I don't... What the hell? Well, I can't read what the hell it said. Alright, forget this game. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best here. That's what you get when you play from a computer in 1976. At least we're not waiting forever for the scripts to load. Original version mysteriously appeared in late 72 has been lost. Last corrected in 1977. Graph Speed. Another shooting game. Tell me your first name. The instructions, yes. You are the gunnery officer of the Graf Spee. Do beast in enemy waters. Put, but put their enemy cannot fire at you. Do be informed of their enemy in approximate position. His X and Y coordinates at the beginning of the game. The target area is 10 units by 10 units. The effective area of a hit is one square unit. You are at the lower left hand corner of the target area. To direct fire, choose gun elevation for range and azimuth. Degrees from true north. For direction, note, true north is zero degrees and due east is 90 degrees. A warning, if you do not sink the enemy ship, you will be captured. Because while you, you were screwing around, he radioed for help. The enemy ship is in the area of X coordinate between 3 and 5, Y coordinate between 1 and 3. Input the elevation of your gun. I don't know. But also the Azimuth! You missed do you piece of shit. Uh, I have no clue how to even aim this thing. Not too far. Was it wasn't it like five comma six? I guess it wasn't five comma six. Where the hell was it? 
Wasn't that where it was? Three. It said three comma two. I thought it said six comma five. I'm really confused. Their clutch fired. The clutch fired the wrong way. Instant court martial and removal to the Russian front. You now have zero shots. If I have zero shots, then what am I doing? Now I have negative one shots. I think it's broken. I want to try that again because that was really strange, actually. Like, it seemed like. I don't know what happened there. Did I, did I, I just forgot where that was? Is that what happened? Let's, I, want, I want to see that again. That was called those graph speed. Oh, it's, it's okay. So he's at four comma two, right? Maybe I misunderstood the first time. He's at four comma two. So I hit right freaking there where it said he is. So, like, what does that mean? It doesn't tell me, like, how it was close or not or what. How am I supposed to know, like, where, where I missed? Yeah, but it doesn't give me any feedback. I should say you missed in what direction. Forget it, Stars Man. This is crap. And it doesn't even end properly. I had negative 10 shots, negative a million shots. It can go on forever. Good, good machine, bad games. What else? We can call it a day soon because it's already at 2 a.m. here. Uh, let's try one more. Hangman. I like Hangman. I showed me all the words, so that's not good. Hangman. Let's play Hangman. I think of a word you guess. There's the word. You guess or hang. You have 15, 10 correct guesses before you hang. Easy words or hard words? Let's go for hard words. No. E. It's a long word. It doesn't necessarily make it hard. It means like a lot of the words I, that I guess that will be in there. A lot of the, a lot of the. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, convenience. Do 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 do. Let's try again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, I think it would be synonymous, but it seems like it's missing some stuff there. Or oh, synchronous. Oops, I pressed G by accident. Do, 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 do. Hard words are not so hard because they're long. I mean, really, just because it's hard, long doesn't mean it's hard.
try maybe one or two more. Might be a harder one. Uh, what is this? Resistance is futile. Number one. No more. The, off the board. Uh, wow. I don't know what this is, but it, oh. Do, do, do. These games were made by people wearing 1970s clothes, 1970s hairstyles. Just imagine what they look like since Star Man. And Prior Game Boy says this is the new best game so far. I tend to agree. I think this is the new best game so far. This is just this is Hangman, you can't you can't like go wrong with Hangman, honestly. It's a lot of fun. Um I think I'll play maybe one or two more words. Or maybe I'll we'll end it on this on Hangman because this is a good place to end. We're on a happy note. This will be one more stream. I'm not done with this yet. But like I said, it's getting late. It's already two AM. Probably should go to bed soon. I'll play a couple more words. If you're watching till now, you're still watching. You guys are awesome. You guys are absolute legends, as Carl Jobs likes to say. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for, man? You might miss the next Saul 20 stream. Let's try uh, one or two, 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 two more words. Ooh, this is this, see. This could be really hard because it's so short. It could be anything. I'm in trouble here. Look at this. Uh... <laughs> See, I know I have no information. Wang, it can't be Wang. Oh, the, oh, the, oh actually, the, the next game after this is hockey. So you know what? I will I will load up one more game because it says it says hockey. We'll see if it's the same thing or not. Uh, but this is bullshit. I must know this. It could be anything. I mean, seriously. Uh, what other letter should I guess? <laughs> uh... Wow. Uh... Okay, what could this be? We got like one chance to get it here. Uh, uh I don't know. Where was Jam? Well, that's a tough one. That really is a tough one. All right, let's try one more. See, the, the, the short words are very difficult. I just don't have enough information to guess it. See, I got that one. Heresy. All right, let's try... You retire with a record of six victories and one defeat. That's not too bad. Let's try this hockey game. We'll do this since since, since I always asleep mention it. It's actually a hockey game too. From Mac also. That's that's promising. Looks like the same game though. 
Yell, scream, war screams. I have the North Stars. What's the name of your team? The Stews. The puck has been dropped in the face of the Stews coming in the puck. Wait, we did this already. This game, this is, we played this. Was this on the Wang also? I think it was on this. Every time I passed to a wing, I scored. Offside pass. Check. Check again. So the same thing every time? I got that time. Pass to a wing. Intercepted it. Pass to a wing. Pass was perfect. Scored. So we played this before. I think it was this one. Yeah. Best swall 20 game. What a thrill. <laughs> so I figured out how to do it, basically. If you try to trip him, you always get a penalty. If you try to shoot, then you always miss. But if you pass it to a wing, then you score somehow. I guess your pass bounces off the guy and scores. Yeah, Stars Man, I've seen this in a previous stream. Yeah, we, we, we did play this before. So I think we'll end here. There's some more games, like I said. There will be fourth and final Saul 20 stream. And then we'll move on to something else. Not sure what yet, but we will figure it out. In the meantime, uh, we also got to torture myself more with this. If I, I should just not do it. Honest. I know I should just like, abandon this game, but like... I'm just too ordery. If I, given the fact that I like got all, excuse me, I got all hundred endings, in the twenty fifth award. You know I'm not going to give up so easily. But anyway, thanks for for watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you haven't liked the video, please like it. If you're watching it after the fact, please give a comment. But thank you to the Pirate Gamer Boy Twelve, to Always Asleep, to Stars Manny, to Endy, to Lester to uh, Hopsar Key, who was the first guy here, to the Gamers Grotto, who came, and he's probably playing his PS5 right now, and uh, anybody else that I missed. I think that was it, though. But thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll do this again soon. If I try that console I bought recently, which console did I bought recently? You're talking about the uh, the Astrocade, or, or what? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Stars Manny. I always get new stuff, though. St stuff arrives here on a daily basis. <laughs> for good or for bad. Yeah, the Astrocade. I did try it. And the, the Astrocade, um, it was it was broken, and I had to f get it, figure out how to fix it. Working with the guy who sold it to me. It went back and forth a bunch of times, but now it's working. So I'm definitely going to stream that here as well pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, I might get an original Odyssey as well and see if I can figure out how to stream it. But yeah, guys, more old stuff coming. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't know what's going on right now. What's it, what is it doing in the background here? Like, it looks like it's, I don't know what. But anyway, have a good night, everybody. Sleep well, peace out, and talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody.